Situated in one of the most crowded parts of the city, the Delhi Public Library was started as a pilot project of UNESCO and the Government of India to find out the problems of public library service in our country as well as other developing countries. Uh, it's a very good uh, start, I think, which we can make. Delhi Public Library was started in 1951, and it was inaugurated by Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru on 27th October 1951. If I may say so, the moving spirit behind this institution was Jawaharlal Nehru himself. As you know, he was a great lover of books. He was a person who wanted to bring about social transformation of the country. And he wanted to do this through the process of education, among other things. Through the process of book dissemination among the people as a whole, to the common man. This library is meant for the common man the intelligent layman of the country, and especially the metropolitan city of Delhi. We are an autonomous organization, fully financed by the government of India. But it is the Department of Culture which finances us. And it is the government of India which has established a board which is called the Delhi Library Board. In order to understand the different functions of the Delhi Public Library, we are showing you the organizational structure. The Library Board has a chairman, under whom the director is the executive head. He is supported by a joint director and five deputy directors. The deputy directors are in charge of different zones of the Union Territory of Delhi and one director is in charge of administration. Under South Zone, there is one zonal library, the legal deposit centers, the stock reviewing department, and the braille department. North and West Zones are under another director who looks after the technical services and two branch libraries. The Central Zone deputy director who is housed in the main library has the responsibility of supervising the social education department, lending and reference, and the children's wing. The fourth director looks after the eastern zone and also the planning and development activities of the library. The whole extension services like hospital libraries, sports libraries, prison libraries, and mobile vans are under the eastern zone deputy director. We are trying to reach, if possible, that is our ambition, to reach every home, if possible, through our library services. And the library services should be so well geared that the people themselves should be drawn to the library. Let's go around the library and see how it functions. You take a membership card and fill this card neat and clean. This is the registration desk. Membership is open to all residents of the Union Territory of Delhi above the age of 15. There is no membership fee or library deposit. The present membership in the Central Library alone is 17,000. is the acquisition section of the library situated in Patel Nagar where the books are purchased and processed. Say we ask for the quotations every year this is in the month of uh, March or April or February, March, April and the vendors from Delhi, local, Delhi, local vendors from Delhi, they just send us quotations and on the basis of their quotations, quotations means the library commission what we ask for. And they just send quotations, we just prepare a sort of uh, compulsory statement and we find out uh, what are the say, highest rates of uh, discount. 
and in this way those uh, particular vendors are one can find them. here the vendors from different publication houses coming all the time initial selection of books is made by the director deputy director and head of the technical service department out of the books received from the approved booksellers books so selected are then referred to the book selection committee for final approval are there any guidelines for the selection of books and then the policy broadly speaking is twofold one we want to guide the people what kinds of books are useful but at the same time we are not masters in the classroom who have to tell them that what kind of books do they should they read we also get a feedback from them what kinds of books are today popular well known you know for example there are fiction it is very popular amongst the people as a whole but in the fiction we try to get fiction all those books which are gyan peeth award winners which are translated in hindi we get all the prize winning awards in books in our library so this is how we try to mold their ideas about what kind of books they should have same is the case but then we are merely a kind of uh, guide and uh, we do not uh, by any way influence their judgment in what kind of books they should have but then when they come and see the books themselves the readers start reading you know extremely popular uh, of lower quality works we do not purchase at all and uh, to that extent we are very very careful in uh, our choice of books books after acquisition are processed there is an accession number for all the books and it is maintained in the card form Here in the technical section books are classified according to the Dewey decimal classification scheme catalogued and distributed to zonal libraries branches and deposit centers respectively The lending division of the library is kept open from 8:30 in the morning to 8 p.m. throughout the year except on three national holidays. The total membership of the library now exceeds 1 lakh. Books are available in seven languages: Sanskrit, Hindi, English, Urdu, Punjabi, Sindhi, and Bengali. More than 3 lakh books are issued in a year. the library has an open access system the lending division also has a readers advisory service desk which helps the readers in many ways if the book is not available on the shelf or not in the stock of the library the reader approaches our reader advisory service desk over there the reader uh, the librarian sitting at the desk guides him gives this him form? a proposal form there the reader fills the form the uh, by giving the their full information about the book their author title publisher price and suggests certain thing why he like to recommend the book in the library there then his uh, his suggestion is sent to the director for approval if the director approve that this title is to be added in a public library then the list is sent before the books selection committee then the books selection committee approves that title then the book is purchased The issue method is based on the brown charging system. A fairly good collection of ready reference tools is housed in the reference wing of the library.
The wing is open to members as well as non-members. Nearly 80,000 volumes are consulted in a year. There is a well-trained staff to help the readers in finding the information they are looking for. The most popular wing of the library is the children's section. Here one can see many young readers engrossed in the books and magazines. Children between the ages of 5 and 15 can enroll themselves as members. Books on general science, geography, travel and pictorial books come in the order of popularity. Restricted to this small room is the toy section for the smaller children. The library has several other activities. The social education department of the library encourages amateurs in different arts and cultural enterprises. It also lends its auditorium for such functions. Film shows, exhibitions and lectures are some other part-time activities of the social education department. The department also has a good stock of gramophone records and cassettes which can be borrowed free of charge for home listening by registered borrowers. One of the meets a day in a week and they discuss say drama group they just give some say amateur performance music group they just say, have some say music we have got all sorts of these your uh, instrument musical instruments with us in this department and they assemble here they give their folk performance uh, that is only for the person who know little bit of these arts. Uh, there, is, there are no experts, only amateurs are there, and they just polish their inherent qualities of music or oratory or uh, some skill in acting or drama or what. So these uh, groups uh, are there, and uh, we have produced during these 37 years of Larry's service. Uh, the persons who are occupying very, very good places uh, in the community and different offices, uh, even in our All India Radio and uh, Television. <laughs> बुढ़े बकरे अब जल्दी से सच्चाई कबूल दो सुनो और कान खोल कर सुनो कि मैं हिंदुस्तानी हूँ और एक हिंदुस्तानी अपनी मुल्क की हिफाजत के लिए गफार जैसे एक बेटा तो क्या सैकड़ों हजारों लाखों बेटे कुर्बान कर सकता है The Delhi Public Library renders a very important service for the blind. This is the Braille Division. The Delhi Public Library has Braille books in English and Hindi. Blind people read through their fingers by touch. Because of the shortage of space at present, the library does not have a reading room. This is a handicap faced by the readers as told by a class 11 student. He also expresses the need for more textbooks and recorded books in the library. For the benefit of those who cannot come to the library, arrangement has been made to send these books through a mobile van to 17 institutions. Seven additional Braille deposit centers have been set up. Blind people can also borrow books by post free of postal charge.
the Braille division, also has a transcribing unit of its own for the production of Braille books. This unit produces textbooks up to the level of high secondary. केवल विभीषण ने विरोध किया और कहा बिना जाने बिना जाने शत्रु को छोटा नहीं समझना चाहिए अगर After the transcribing process, the proofreaders check the books to produce additional copies. The activities of the Delhi Public Library are not confined within its four walls. Library services are also extended to readers staying in far-off or rural areas. The Extension Service Department is responsible for establishing zonal libraries, branch libraries, deposit centers and mobile library services. The first zonal library was started in 1984 at Sarojini Nagar. It has a book stock of about 20,000 volumes. The membership of this library alone is nearly 9,000. The zonal library has additional responsibility of looking after some of the sub-branches and community libraries attached to it. This library also keeps the books received under the Delivery of Books Act. Under this Act, for every book published in India, the publishers have to send a copy to the Delhi Public Library as it is now one of the depository libraries in addition to the other three libraries in the country. The Delhi Public Library got this facility in the year 1981 and the legal deposit center is now housed in the zonal library. This library situated at Shahadra is one of the four branch libraries in Delhi. The other three are situated in Karolbagh, Patel Nagar and Lakshmi Bhai Nagar. The four branch libraries have a book stock of about two lakhs. The selection of books for the branch libraries is done by the branch librarian from the stock received at the technical service department of the central library. There are about 25 sub-branches and community libraries. The book stock in these libraries varies between 10,000 to 20,000. These libraries are under the control of the nearest branch library and are normally kept open from 12.30 to 7.30 p.m. daily. This is a one-room library in a resettlement colony. These are usually housed in community centers or barat ghars. These libraries, which are of recent origin, were started only in 1983-84 to provide library facility to the displaced people who got resettled in these areas. Today, there are about 30 such libraries. The Delhi Public Library is aware of the needs of the rural people. There are nearly 300 villages in the Union Territory of Delhi. A beginning has been made in this direction. This is village Bhavana, where a rural library has been established some time ago. As far as readers' taste is concerned, it differs from the city readers. In rural libraries, the religious books are more in demand. As there are no buildings where village libraries can be set up, in 1986, a mobile service was extended to some of the remote villages. There are 26 deposit centers of the Delhi Public Library. The deposit centers are established in collaboration with different organizations which provide space, furniture, and staff. The Delhi Public Library 
only provides books and other ancillaries. Each deposit station has a book stock of two to five thousand which is replenished from time to time. The Extension Service Department also caters to the inmates of hospitals and the prison. A small deposit center is at the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. The management is looked after by the social welfare wing of the hospital. The books are carried to the respective wards and issued to them on their beds. Recently, Two sports libraries have been established at the National Stadium and the Talkatora Stadium. These are exclusively meant for sportsmen and women. A fairly good collection of books on sports and games are made available to sportsperson and there is keen enthusiasm amongst them to borrow these books. At present, there are four mobile library vans which provide service at 66 points in different parts of the Union Territory. They visit once a week on a specified day and at an appointed time. It is a big day for the children of the area. Rendering mobile services in remote areas is an expensive affair as it costs about 8 or 9 rupees per book or issue. But the objective behind mobile library service is to create a readership in the area. Once the readership is created, there are plans to open deposit centers in the areas. In the years to come, the Delhi Public Library has several plans to modernize its activities. The process of modernization has to start. You know, the service has to be rendered in a more effective fashion. And this can be done, for example, through computerization. Now, for example, if any client or any reader wants a book from West Patel Nagar, well, they uh, Deputy, deputy director of that West Patelnagar branch rings up over here and finds out whether the book is available or not. Now, if we have a computerization, then every center would know what kind of books we have. And they would take within two minutes to find out whether this book is available or not. If there is a uh, financial problem, if there is an administrative problem, even that could be understood in some ways through the computer system. Now this we are going to uh, initiate our process. In fact, some kind of study we tried to start last year and within the next five years it is our plan that uh, in five years time this whole uh, range of libraries which we have uh, will be computerized. 